Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be putting out my first hanging baskets. These were planted up a few weeks ago. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous pelagoniums. This one's got two pelagoniums in the middle, surrounded by seven or eight begonias. Apricot shade, I think they're called. And then we have several petunias on the outside. My next basket is this is an amazing one. This is a really nice double petunia from last year. This was fetched in, a lot of people don't know, petunias are actually perennial plants as long as they fetch them in before the first frost. Look after them, prune them back, give them a really good feed. You end up with beautiful baskets and nice early baskets like these. So this is one of the seedlings. This has got several seedlings all the way around it. As long as well as these doubles. So what we're gonna do first is take these down and we're gonna put them on the front. So right here we go. These are now put up. They've both been lined with this one's been lined with a white bin liner. And when the plants grow a little bit more, what I'll do with this is just cut it back, trim it so it's level with the top. It's all right, you won't see this in a few weeks. And the one next to it, this one is absolutely amazing. These are, I can't wait to see what flowers are going to be on these petunias that have nothing seed all the way around. This one here, so these should go really well. You can see the difference, size of the leaves compared to this double one. But the scent is absolutely amazing. This one's been round, lined with a carry bag. What I do is I tend to leave the bottom first few inches and put a ring of holes all the way around. So that acts like a bit of a bowl to keep like a couple inches of water in the bottom when you water it to let it absorb. Same with this one, do make exactly the same here. But these should grow really well now. I'll give them a good spray for powdery mildew because uh, petunias are well known for uh, suffering from that. This pelagonium, Quantock, something, I forget the second part of its name. It's growing really, really well, and the begonias are as well. So yeah, all I need to do now is finish planting these up, and then do my vertical plant in the corner there that I had last year. Attach it to the uh, hanging basket attachment at the top. Then I've got my tipsy, topsy plant it all the way down to the bottom to there. Pull it out a little bit, and I've got some. Uh, petunias left, violas, uh, dahlias, sweet peas. So this should really start looking well then. So I'm really pleased with it. Just take a quick look from down here, from the uh, path. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, they're going to look absolutely amazing. If you've got any questions about anything growing in my garden, please don't hesitate to ask, folks. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And as always, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching everybody and please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.